in a world where a single word or action can inflect a whole country. I'm talking about the dab. This is MC Steinberg, or just Malachi, from Bravecast. And do you know what has been plaguing the internet for over a year and people still asking YouTubers or other people alike? It's the dab. It has been destroying comic sessions every. What is a dab, if you somehow don't know? The dab is a dance move that is so simple that basically anyone with working arms can do it. It is what you do when you cover your eyes with your elbow, like you're sneezing, and, something, and sometimes you extend your other arm. Due to Cam Newton's a football player for the Panthers in mid-October of 2015, was the spark of nationwide dance move created by Hey Domingos. The song is called Look At My Dab. The dab needs to stop. At first, it was all right. Then people started doing it everywhere. Seen it across live stream chats and comments and in the streets. It is also oh, in some video games like Black Ops 3. If you win a multiplayer game and also got out of a supply drop, you could do it. Do you want to go to a dance and all you see is the same dance move about a person fake sneezing because there isn't always going to be a all right dancer you're at your party sorry if i pronounced your name incorrectly first person i knew was mr thompson an english teacher of bremen high school what do you need what do you need how do you feel about the dab how do i feel about the dab yes. i find the dab to be one of the most expressive dance moves that has come about in the last four to five years it is much more better than the juju on that beat i like it better than the stinky leg i find it a superior move to the milkshake which brought all the boys to the yard um in addition to that the running man is old and, and is being brought back but the dab is innovative and creative and new uh to this generation and i find my Myself more and more inclined to think that it may be the uh, the new Cupid Shuffle. So, person that I have interviewed is Michelle Enrica, is a sophomore student at Bremen High School. How do you feel about the dab? The dab? Yes, the dab. Huh? <laughs> um, I feel okay because people like the dab. My third interview was from Mr. Blackwell, a English teacher at Bremen High School. Uh, how do you feel about the dab? I think the dab is uh, a pretty modern way of expression that is worthy of some experimentation. Fourth person that I interviewed was Eric Ely. Oh. He is a percussionist for the Bremen High School Band. Eric, how do you feel about the dab? I don't like the dab. So, you think, not, why? Because it's dead. Dead? It's dead. Oh, are you sure it's dead? I'm pretty sure it's dead. Okay. But yet people are still doing it. Okay. The fifth person I've interviewed is... Juan Torres, how do you feel about the dab? Well, uh, the dab is cool and all, but I think it is like overused and stuff. Like I, I still use it, but I would usually most just to make fun of people or like make people laugh. I don't think it's a serious dance move. All you're doing is putting your hands across your face. The last person that I have interviewed is Mr. Collins, a, a chemistry teacher at Bremen High School. Well, I think that the dab is not a very unique dance move that everybody keeps doing, and uh, it's kind of silly, you know, but it's taken on its own life, just like the moonwalk that was created by Michael Jackson, so you never know what's going to become popular with people. The dab got so bad that the YouTuber, The Smith Plays, had to block the word from showing up when he's live streaming. It even got so bad that he's trying to end the dab. And also, YouTubers have the hardest times when new trends and something 
like a deck and smooth. It is very demanded so often that they are pressured to do who it or take action. Please, just stop the dab. It needs to die. Just end the virus, the plague. Please, just end the dab.